Welcome to the first of our tutorials in using the CyperEd Workbench. This is the web services of the Bioinformatics Group at the UCL Department of Computer Science. Today we're going to be looking at using the CyperEd Secondary Structure Prediction Tool. This is a machine learning method for predicting secondary structure for protein sequences. When you arrive at the Workbench, you'll be delivered to the Sequence Data Input form. Here you can select different methods to analyse protein sequence data. We'll look at analysing protein structure data in some future videos. For now, however, the important first area of the page is the area where we can select different predictive methods for protein sequences. Here, when you arrive at the page, uh, the CyPred method is already pre-selected. This is the most popular method that our users use, and so we have that pre-selected. If you hover over any of the names, you get a slightly longer description of what the method does in the tooltip. Moving down, having selected the method we would like to run, we can input our sequence data. There's a couple of links down here to uh, grab some test data, so we're just going to go ahead and use the test sequence. So here is a uniprot sequence. It's the bacteria rhodopsin from the Halobacterium salinarum. So I will just copy that, <coughs> jump back to the page and paste it into the protein sequence box. If you're curious to why we're using this particular sequence, <coughs> it just happens to be a sequence that produces nice results for most of our predictors. Uh, there's nothing special about it. <coughs> Next, having put your sequence in, we require that you give your job a name. This is just a plain text description of the sequence. Um, you could use this to keep track of different sequences if you submit multiple jobs at the same time. Lastly, we ask that you provide an email. This is optional, but we suggest that it is a good idea because then when a job is finished, when the analysis is complete, we'll send you a reminder email with the link to get your results. Otherwise, you have to leave the web page open. So having filled in the form, we can press the submit button. So on pressing the submit button, we get the initial results page. And so the results page shows you that things are processing. Uh, importantly, up here in the top right, we have a little panel that tries to give you an estimate of the runtime for the job. Cypred jobs are typically quite quick. So then we've seen this job, it has, the analysis has completed already. So let's walk through the results page. At the top here, we give you the name of the sequence that you submitted. So this is the name that you provided to us that's just repeated here so you can keep track of what you're looking at. If it was a long running analysis and you wanted to close your web browser, you can use our copy link uh, region here to copy the link and use that link to retrieve the results in the future. Next, and really importantly, we have the sequence plot. So for all of our sequence methods, we show you the sequence that you submitted and it will be annotated with any of the sequence features that our predictors have identified. Cypred annotates things with secondary structure. So here, looking down on the key, the secondary structure elements are beta strand in yellow, alpha helix in pink, and coil in light gray. Looking up at the sequence, we can see the different uh, residues have been colored accordingly. You can also toggle the display to show the amino acid types, small, non-polar, hydrophobic, polar, and aromatic. Let's toggle back to the cypred annotations. If you're interested in downloading the figure, we have two buttons down here in the bottom right. Uh, one for downloading a PNG of the image, or if you're preparing this diagram for uh, publication, you can get an SVG for use in packages such as Inkscape and other vector drawing packages. Many of our methods produce other diagrams and other details. Below the sequence plot area, we have other panels that you can open up. Cypred produces what we call our Cypred cartoon. This just kind of repeats the information you've just seen, just laid out in a different format. In this format, we have four tracks. The top track is the confidence of the predictor at each residue position. So the taller and darker the, uh, uh, the little bar chart, uh, the more confident the prediction, and the shorter and paler, the less confident the prediction. We then have another little cartoon uh, diagram of the uh, secondary structure content gray for coil, the yellow for strand, and the pink for, for helix. We then repeat this in the prediction row. So C for coil, 
E for beta strands, and H for helix. These are just the standard letterings for these annotations. And lastly, at the bottom, we have the sequence. Uh, coordinate information is noted below. Yeah, we can close that panel with the collapse button. Over here on the right hand side, importantly, we have the downloads. Not everyone wants to work purely with figures, and so you can download information about the analysis. The first link gets you the job configuration. So this is details about the different predictive methods that were run to generate this result. If I click that button, it downloads a CSV file. You can open a CSV file in any plain text editor. Here I'm using VS Code. And so if I open the file, I go to my downloads, and then I should be able to open this CSV file. <coughs> this CSV file has a number of columns. The name of the job that you ran, the step number. So most of our jobs run in multiple sequential steps. These are numbered from one ascending then the type of uh, information that you're being told, are you being told information about a piece of software that was run or a data set that that piece of software was run with? Then the name of the piece of software or the name of the data set, any versioning data that we have about either the software and any default parameters that we used when this was run. So analyzing the Cypro job here, <coughs> We can see the steps are numbered one to three, so there were three steps that were run. Step one consists of a couple of different pieces of software run on a couple of different data sets. So here we have HHBlitz version 2.0.16, and it was run with these HHBlitz parameters. We can look down on the data set. We have the HH database for Uniclass 30 released in August of 2018. We additionally run a Cyblast step after the sequence search with HHBlitz, and that's using Legacy Blast 2.2.26 with these parameters, and we're running it against Uniref 90. It's the latest Uniref 90. So that's step one. Step one runs those bits of software to <coughs> generate a sequence family for your input sequence. Steps two and three are the main Cypred uh, machine learning steps. Step two is the Cypred uh, neural network. And that's for our version 4.1 that we're currently running. This generates the initial predictions for a helix coil and strand. After those are produced, we run SciPass2, which is the second or the aggregating uh, neural network, and it takes the outputs of the previous step and aggregates them into the final prediction. This is also part of SciPred version 4.1. Working down, Cypred downloads. So the SS2 format. So if I open the SS2 file, SS2 file is a plain text file with the output for the first of the Cypred steps. So this is the output of three neural networks, each one trying to um, output coil propensity, uh, strand, propensity and further down helix propensity. So the column, these are the um, unadjusted raw scores for the neural network for each um, uh, secondary structure type. Here we have one row per amino acid. These are sequentially numbered, the amino acid, and then the putative uh, secondary structure assignment, and then the raw scores for the neural networks. So again, that's coil, helix, strand in these columns. Next, the horizon format. This is the final output from the last step. Using VS Code, I can open this. And here, this is very similar to the Cypred cartoon. We have the final confidence scaled from zero to nine, so that's 10 positions. We have the final prediction at each position, and we have the amino acid sequence you submitted. So lastly here, you can download files individually if you're only interested in specific output files. But if you would like both the job configuration and all of the output files, you can click the get zip file link and you can download a zip file of all of the different outputs. And so that concludes our brief look at the secondary structure prediction method.